In this video, we're asked to find the volume of the solid that we get when we rotate this bounded region about the x-axis. So first, let's think about what y equals 4 minus x squared looks like. That's an upside down parabola shifted up by 4, so it's going to look something like this. However, in this problem, uh, we have the line x equals 0 and the line y equals 0. So this is x equals 0 and this is y equals 0. So I'm going to go over here and draw just the piece that's in the first quadrant. So it looks something like this. So this is 2 and this is 4 because it's shifted up by 4. The reason that this is 2 is because if you plug in 2 here, you end up with 4 minus 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4, which is 0. And we're spinning it about the x-axis. Let's go ahead and use the disk method. Whenever you use the disk method, your rectangles are always perpendicular to the axis. So if we draw a rectangle, it has to look like this. Because we have a vertical rectangle, we have a function of x. If we would have had a horizontal rectangle, then we would have a function of y instead. In this case, big R, it's the outer radius. In other words, it's the full distance from the far end of the rectangle all the way to the axis. So this is our big R of x. So that full distance is simply 4 minus x squared. So in our problem, big R of x is equal to 4 minus x squared. And now we're ready to write down the formula for the volume. So the volume is equal to pi, the integral from a to b, of big R of x squared dx. So in this case, it's pi. And a here is 0. We're integrating with respect to x. So we go from 0 to 2. So from 0 to 2. And then we have big R, which is 4 minus x squared. And that's being squared. And then we still have the dx. And via magic, we end up with 256 pi divided by 15. So there's a lot of missing steps there. Uh, but the hard part is coming up with big R and drawing the picture and setting up the integral. So I hope that made sense.